Welcome back, everybody, to another Silverbush Reacts. I'm going to leave the link for the original video down in the description below. So, guys, make sure you go and check them out. Give them a lot of love. Give them a thumbs up. They work hard on their videos for us to have entertainment with me reacting to them. So, that being said, guys, let's get into it. Monitoring your child via a baby monitor is meant to provide reassurance of their safety. Yet there are numerous instances where these devices cause more anxiety than relief. A recent video shared on Reddit illustrates one such unsettling moment, suggesting that something other than the baby may have been present in the nursery. What? Furthermore, they frequently encounter what? unfamiliar noises ah, for which they have up. yet to determine. Go back a little bit more. Right there. Oh, look. Furthermore, they frequently. I don't know what it looks like the baby's and I hate I can't say that a baby is out here scamming and hoaxing already man he's only like eight you know he, he don't he don't have that 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 mindset to, he don't he he's not clever like us humans right now but it looked to me like he was pushing off with his right knee and kind of just, uh, you know, just uh, getting a stretch on. I don't know. You tell me what you think about that one. Furthermore, they frequently encounter unfamiliar noises for which they have yet to determine the origin. The unsettling aspect lies in its subtlety. There are no grand theatrics or conspicuously dramatic events, which inherently lends it a sense of plausibility. Perhaps the baby simply shifted oddly, and the ambient noises could be attributed to external uh, sources. Yeah, to me it seems like the baby is kind of like just launching off his right knee, and he's just, he's just stretching it out, you know? I mean, but that... I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. Yet, upon repeated review of both videos, the impression grows that the entire body was tugged by a leg and the eerie sounds appear uncomfortably close to the camera. Nevertheless, when it concerns one's children, intuition often guides decisions. And in this instance, the father's gut feeling suggested an unwelcome presence alongside his son. Is this a genuine encounter with the supernatural or merely heightened vigilance? But then again, if I was that baby's parent, you know, how would I feel about that stuff? Really, it just boils down to emotions. I could sit here as a skeptic and, you know, say, oh, well, you know, the baby launched off his leg. But it's a, it's an infant, you know? <laughs> Why would an infant try to do like a, uh, a, you know, a Superman pose already? You know, that seems kind of far fetched. I don't know, man. I think something possibly could have done this. I think. I, I do not have a way to debunk it. I don't. I can't say I can't sit here and. You know, I have my opinion about it, but. The baby is too young to, you know, be throwing out some, some gangster signs and all that stuff. So tell me what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Following video is from the YouTube channel Carlos Coy 135 has deeply unsettled thousands of viewers.
Its origin lies in a tragic event involving Sylvia Likens, a 16-year-old girl who lost her life at the hands of her psychotic mother, Gertrude Paniszewski, assisted by her children and others in their neighborhood. Sylvia resided in the Assistant. very house featured in the video. Films documenting this harrowing incident were released in 2007, but tragically, the house was demolished just two years later. Over time, numerous reports have surfaced of Sylvia's ghost haunting the vicinity. Yeah, Witnesses, yeah, I would before do, the house's shoot. demolition, claimed sightings of a spectral young girl in Sylvia's bedroom window. The video, recorded over 15 years ago prior to the house's destruction, captures Carlos and his friends exploring its exterior. Aware of the local legends surrounding Sylvia's ghost, Carlos decides to film their investigation, inadvertently capturing something that has confounded even experts. This is fucking freaky. As you can see, this is what the basement looked like. That's fucked. Oh, hell no. This picture looks serious, too. Dude, I fucked. I fucked. There's a picture of the stairs. Have you got a fucking have you heard it? As Carlos emerges from the dim basement, the echoes of someone crying out, Help me! Followed by urgent pleas for assistance can be discerned. Listen very carefully. I can't make it up, though. The sound is deeply unsettling, causing me to shiver every time I watch this video. Many viewers speculate that it could be the voice of Sylvia Likens, and I have yet to encounter a dissenting opinion. She's a pretty what girl. What are your thoughts? It's sad. Could this indeed be the voice of Sylvia Likens, who tragically passed away several years ago? The following video is from Josie Sanchez in which she is alone at home when suddenly an incident occurs, which prompting her to grab her phone and start to record. Do it again, Dad. Do it again, Dad. Do it again. Flip the light. Flick the light there. Josie interprets this incident as a meaningful sign. She believes her father was trying to communicate by flick. Okay, I understand that that was her father or whom she believes and wishes very, very much to be her father. But the fact that she asked him to flip the light and of course you can't tell your parents what to do your parents are always going to be like uh no child no that is not how this operates there was a much delayed reaction and to me it looks simply like maybe just the light bulb is not tightened all the way in the fixture and it's just vibrating sorry as much as we want things to be true you know I think I went over this in some of my other videos about uh, the strength of loved ones. Their tether stays, you know, implanted on the on Earth in this dimension, rather than going off into the next dimension. But sometimes it just is what it is. It's simply just a simple light. Flickering the light. Similarly. Viewers of Casey's footage speculate that something supernatural occurred. 
Ultimately, the evidence captured on camera invites you to draw your own conclusions about what transpired. Tell me what you think. A peculiar sight caught the attention of a residence somewhere in the Brazil. A mysterious creature perched atop their house. Initially resembling a human figure, the scene seemed innocuous. However, as the figure started to move, its peculiarities became more pronounced. The creature's proportions were unusual. A disproportionately large head atop a thin, elongated torso, moving in an unfamiliar manner. At one point, it stretched its neck skyward, revealing an even stranger silhouette against the roof's peak. After briefly reappearing and then vanishing again, speculation ran wild. Some viewers speculated okay. it might be an extraterrestrial visitor, while others suggested it could be a passing primate or similar animal, its form distorted by the silhouette against the sky. <laughs> All right, look, this is my this is my take on UFOs and extraterrestrial. Um, my my wife's stepmom, Mama Sue, she swears up and down that she was abducted, or no, not abducted, but she saw UFOs and stuff like that. Look, look, I'm a I'm a purely logical person. I don't think that there's little green men running around the world, you know, kidnapping humans and all that good stuff. I mean, if a civilization has the capacity to traverse the stars. Why the hell would they want to mess with us monkeys? Just saying. Don't make no sense to me. I know if I was a super advanced technology, I mean, other than purely scientific terms or study, oh, yeah. You take the night native wildlife and hmm, poke them and prod them, but I don't think little green men are up on that roof, like looking down and trying to, you know, I don't believe that. Not one second. TikTok Definitely user monkeys, AMC Propidads have gained Not prominence aliens. for their informative real estate videos showcasing properties for sale in Mexico. However, not all their channel's content revolves solely around attractive deals. During a recent video featuring a promising new listing, they encountered an unexpected challenge that could potentially impact their standing as reputable realtors. Take a closer look at what happened. Amplia cocina. Hey, you better do something about them cabinets. Ooh, the ordinary that? video tour of the house took an eerie turn when observant viewers noticed something unsettling. A small figure darting behind the chairs only to vanish as the camera moved elsewhere. The house was vacant and up for sale, with no plausible way for a child to have entered. No way. Was this you can still see it. figure simply a child playing unseen? Or something more paranormal, reminiscent of scenes from American Horror Story? Share your thoughts on this mysterious occurrence. A TikTok ooh, user ooh, named Dario right Beatty recounts an unsettling experience during a family overnight stay in the Appalachian Mountains, a location notorious for its alleged hauntings. In his video, Dario is captured sitting in a serene outdoor hot tub late at night, attempting to unwind mm, with his got family. Him some honey in there. However, mm, mm. their peaceful moment is interrupted by an inexplicable and chilling noise emanating from the surroundings, causing palpable unease. The eerie disturbance perplexes them all, leaving them unnerved and questioning the source of the unsettling sound. Take a listen for yourself. Yeah, that was a car, that was a car. Who said aliens, bro? I said aliens. I think it's a train. The dash is scary. Shut up! Okay, do you guys want to go inside? No, no. Dude, it's because you're not going to Stop. I'm recording this shit, bro. Believe it or not, the sound captured in the video isn't background music. It's what Dario and his family heard while in the hot tub. I don't know if I couldn't hear it because everybody was freaking talking. Unfortunately, 
Dario never identified the origin of the noise. He now believes the Appalachian Mountains are quite haunted, making a return unlikely for a second night's stay. A young boy stayed in a hotel at night with his family while he was on vacation with entire family. And while he was sleeping at night, he experienced a chilling paranormal experience. At one point, he heard unsettling sounds emanating from the bathroom. He instinctively grabbed his phone. He managed to capture the eerie events just in time. One night, he found himself alone while his family slept in another room, oblivious to what was about to unfold. With the windows jammed shut and the AC off, what unseen force could manipulate reality at such an eerie hour? Did you notice the orbs of light swirling as the door creaked? I see some His bugs. shocked recount suggests this wasn't the first strange occurrence that night, but it was the most unsettling. Could these events suggest they were unwitting guests in a real-life hotel Transylvania? Perhaps, but such illusions can be easily orchestrated. Do you lean towards belief or skepticism? Share your thoughts. So that little floating thing, that looks like a fly to me, but uh, the knocking and then the door slowly closing... I mean, the knock, he, he could have just knocked on the, the cabinet. Like I said, you don't see him at all. He, he's likely he knocked on something and then, I don't know, maybe an unseen. They said the AC was off, but, uh, you know, maybe another door open causing, you know, there's static pressure in the, on the room. You know, if I know if something's, if my house is tight, you know, I, open up the front door, everything, the pressure is relieved on the house. I mean, the same thing with hotel rooms. I don't know. Tell me what you think. A man hears unusual noises emanating from his kitchen and decides to investigate. Suspecting it might be a prank orchestrated by his playful friends, he grabs his recording device to capture the anticipated reveal. However, what he encounters leaves him utterly bewildered. Hey guys, I've been hearing this really weird knocking coming from my kitchen for like the last hour. What the hell? No way. The hell? Based on his initial enthusiasm, it appears he knows individuals capable of executing the obs- Okay. How did how did how did how did that happen? Right, obviously, that's the this is the kind of footage that we want to see right here. So he reached out. There was no strings on the, on the the doorknob. You can see clearly inside the inside of the cabinet. There was no like mechanism opening and closing it. Maybe a rat. That's a big rat. Absurd. Yet, his astonishment was palpable upon discovering an empty kitchen, save for a cabinet displaying an oddly independent behavior. He promptly scrutinizes the surroundings with thoroughness, suggesting transparency rather than secrecy. Could this phenomenon be attributed to poltergeist phenomena or merely a- All right, so he opened up both. I was thinking maybe a cat got in there. My cat does that crap. She'll get in the cabinets and- Play with the doors and all that stuff. It freaks me out. I'm like, man, get out of my cabinets, man. Uh, Well-crafted cut while he opened up the left cabinet. It seems unlikely, but uh, we there's nothing in there. This is a good one. Why just one cabinet? Why come the rest of them didn't open up? I don't know. Tell me what you think about it. A deceptive ploy. Our speculation leans towards the mischievous antics of the one eyed mug. The Fourth Wall, a Japanese paranormal channel, has been investigating a disturbing tale surrounding a reputedly haunted house in Japan. The residents, 
once occupied by a man named Suzuki, along with his wife and young daughter, became the center of bizarre occurrences over time. Suzuki's behavior took a peculiar turn, culminating in a troubling revelation he shared with a neighbor. He claimed his wife and daughter had tragically taken their own lives, plunging him into inconsolable grief. However, it later emerged that Suzuki's family was alive and residing with him, casting doubt on his unsettling proclamation. Shortly thereafter, Suzuki tragically ended his own life by hanging himself in an upstairs closet. Following this tragic event, Suzuki's wife and daughter vacated the house. Subsequent occupants reported encountering intense paranormal phenomena, including sightings of Suzuki's apparition haunting the premises. One such resident, deeply affected by the eerie encounters, abruptly left the property mere months after moving in. Fast forward to present day, <laughs> where a man named Meguro, captivated by the home's alleged supernatural reputation, decided to move in for first-hand research and documentation. This decision marked a pivotal and potentially regrettable choice for Meguro, who quickly set up static cameras in the upstairs rooms to capture any anomalous activity. <laughs> No cuts, just straight up open it. All right. Now, the unusual activity in the house appears to extend beyond the bedroom closet. Meguro decides to install an additional security camera aimed at monitoring the bathroom. A few nights later, he captures something significant. Take a look. This uh this spirit likes doors. The hill. No, that's that dude. Like something was behind the, the glass door. The bathroom faucet activates spontaneously, followed by the door that. closing on its own. Adding to the unsettling atmosphere, a strange white shape appears to move behind the closed bathroom door. Oh, I see that now, Meguro yeah. Meguro notices this movement through his camera monitoring app, prompting him to That's investigate. That's crazy. Upon My question the bathroom, is... He discovers nothing unusual. Meanwhile, paranormal phenomena in Meguro's upstairs bedroom escalate further. Hang on, before we continue, give me one second. What is... What is this thing? That's the bathroom, right? That's the that's the bathtub right there. But what is this thing? I mean, the Japanese, they are like. These people are advanced. Meanwhile, paranormal phenomena in Maguro's upstairs bedroom escalate further. Mm -mm. I'd be leaving lights on, man. Look at that. Ghost out. 
Say what it do. <laughs> he said what it do. Like you hear it now, boy. Uh, this is what we're talking about right here. This, these are really good camera footage. Like they got a static camera right here over watching the, everything that he's doing. And then he's on his own personal phone recording like POV. Beautiful. As Megaro enters the room and switches off the light, the closet door inexplicably creaks open ajar. Gradually, over the next week, Megaro starts noticing these eerie noises emanating from the closet with increasing frequency. Then, one late night as Megaro relaxes with a cigarette in another room before bed, his static cameras capture something profoundly chilling. Ooh. I saw that one. Look like a dude standing there. <coughs> I'd have threw up right there. As Maguro switches <laughs> off the lights in each room, right before the security okay. camera transition. That could have been straight up CGI. I can be straight up overlaid over like camera views. I don't find that believable. ...to night vision, a peculiar dark shape appears standing in... It's still entertaining though. Like it... Ugh. ...in the room. Initially spotted in one bedroom, the mysterious figure seems to accompany Maguro into the second bedroom. Is this possibly the spirit of Suzuki? Or does it suggest something more ominous? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you want to watch full video, please visit the YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. So my only reasoning for that one is because in this image here, this is, this is tall. Like this dude's like seriously tall. But if you go to the other image here, this is this guy's height. This dude's like almost as, as short as he is. So it's either hoax one really tall dude and one really short dude you guys tell me uh, let's give a shout out to scary comp thanks for making the video my good man again uh the original content for this video will be down in the description below so make sure you check them out until then guys this is a wrap who knows what goes bump in the night but these videos were really good. I think that I'm uh, I'm definitely going to use uh, Scary Comp again. He just finds these videos that are just, they're believable. Some obviously are, are fake, but this is the stuff that I like right here is when you have, you have a POV, a static camera, and then you have a POV, and you're able to see what the person's doing. He's not like pulling strings in the background and all that crap. So it still happens. It could still be somebody sitting down in the back pulling strings, but this one was pretty believable. Tell me what you think. Give me a comment down below until next time. I'll see you soon.